but in that case players usually stay too open. It goes like way too fast here and then with the drop, what happens? There is no drop where you come here and then follow the bounce. So the correct way is, yeah, my opinion. Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krinitin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. What's up guys? Welcome back to another 10 Fitmen video. Today I'm gonna share with you three most common mistakes on the forehand and also one bonus okay so i really want to go straight to the point here because i've noticed a lot of players struggle with the forehand with some basic things and uh, this is exactly what i'm going to talk about here so the first most common mistake is the not proper use of non-dominant arm in my case the left arm right so what happens usually Players start to swing and the left arm is kind of lost here, right? The left arm stays in front. I heard this a lot of coaches maybe. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just this is my opinion, okay? So the left arm points towards the ball. But in that case, players usually stay too open, right? And also when they swing, they cannot really use much that left arm for the rotation, right? So the mistake is here. Right? Whatever happens here, we just focus on left arm. It stays here, right? Whereas the correct way should be more following here, right? Keeping less space between the arms here, right? So look at the coil. It's much better here, right? So much better coil. And then left arm helps, non-dominant arm helps for uncoiling. And then here, right? And at the end, kind of catch the racket. So the wrong way. As I said, it's something like here, and the right way, you can already see the difference, right? Okay, the number two, the second most common mistake on the forehand is about timing of the swing. So it's either at the beginning, right? Assuming we have the split step, assuming players, you know, good enough doing the split step. So the swing doesn't start immediately right so the mistake is kind of like here movement and then the swing right or if it starts early it goes like way too fast here and then the racket stops it's broken so this is called timing right so the correct way is again in my opinion immediate start and then based on the ball of course you need to feel how much time you have and you need to always adjust so basically every swing will be different, right? But in general, here, early start, adjusting the swing, not going too fast, not too slow. But in general, we wanna get to the power position before the ball is bouncing. Or at the bounce, we wanna have the power position, right? And then we can unload. So something like this. Hop, bam, ball bounces, I'm set, and then here, right? So let's see the wrong way. Right, the wrong way here will be something like that's too rushed, right? Or, or it's like too fast. The, the swing is broken, right? You can already tell. Looks like amateur player. Whereas the good timing would be something like this. Up. Boom. And let's go to the number three, the third most common mistake on the forehand is about the racket drop. So what happens? Here, let's assume everything else is correct. So you're gonna do the proper timing here. And then with the drop, what happens? There is no drop. That's the first option here. So the players come here and directly from here, they go and swing towards the ball, right? You can see there is no racket drop. It's just directly, so something like this. Here, maybe I even did a little bit of drop, like, just naturally but the point is they go directly from the power position 
they swing towards the ball, right? So this is very important and this can change the way you hit the ball and uh, your consistency and what you can do with that shot. So, instead of the racket towards the ball, the drop. It's called a drop because you simply drop your arm. And this is the key, right? You don't need to think about dropping the racket head, but you just think about dropping your arm here and then pulling here and look, and then this racket naturally goes down, right? So just need to think about drop the full thing down, right, from the handle, and then you pull the handle forward. This naturally happens, there's lag, and that's the good shot. So something like this, correct, racket drop here, drop, bam. Again, drop, bam. And finally, I'm gonna also share with you one bonus mistake. Hopefully you don't do this bonus mistake. But this is about balance. The mistake is like, you know, when players hit the ball, they kind of drop out of balance. Their head moves, right? Or when they hit and they want to move uh, to the other side, they move too early, right? So, mistake is I can just kind of make up a scenario where you come here and then, right? Fall off the balance. So you want to try to keep your head still and also keep this line straight as much as possible. That no matter what kind of ball you have, you can keep that stability that you have. Then you're gonna have the most control. Okay, so that was it. Quick recap for the three most common mistakes. Number one, non-dominant arm, right? You know, staying away here. So the correct way is together. Bam. Number two is the timing of the swing, right? So it's either late or it's too early and broken. Make sure it's, you know, according to the ball. So you start early and then you adjust the swing here. Number three is the lack of the racket drop. So instead you should go down and here. And number four is the balance. Not falling off the balance, but staying still as you can. Hope that was helpful and uh, hope you enjoyed it. So smash that like button and share with your friends. And uh, also subscribe to our channel if you haven't so far. You can check all the other social media below in the description. And feel free to leave some comments and suggestions for next videos. Keep training, keep uh, hitting that forehand. Avoid these mistakes. And uh, I'll see you soon in our next video.